Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make a bunny sign using one of those silver platters from Dollar Tree. I grabbed one of the oval ones. The scrapbook paper is from Hobby Lobby. Two small grapevine wreaths. Some ribbon from Walmart that I had. These are actually two burlap leaves that I got at Joann's. As you can see, there's not much left on there. I've used a lot of it. One of the little burlap um, jute type rosettes. Some sage green chalk paint pink paint, brown wax, Mod Podge, and you'll need some white paint also. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint just the edges of my platter with the sage green chalk paint. I let it kind of go over into the center, but mostly I just kept on the edges. We're going to cover the center with the scrapbook paper so there's no need to paint it. You want to make sure you get in all the little nooks and crannies. Next, you're gonna paint your grapevines both white. Now, you don't have to do this. I just dry brushed the white on. This is a step that you can just leave them brown if you want. But I felt like brown was just gonna sink into the scrapbook paper that I chose. So I decided to brighten them up a little bit. Next, I took those two burlap leaves and I just painted the centers of them with a little bit of um, the pink acrylic paint. Now you can just cut two small ears out of burlap. That's totally up to you. I already had these on hand, so this is just what I used, saved myself a step. And they may still have these at Joann's. I'm not really sure. I got these a couple of years ago and I used everything else that was on the pick except for those, so they turned out to be perfect. I'm so glad I saved them. So I just pressed the scrapbook paper into the center of the tray and then just pushed around with my hand so that it made the outline and that's where I cut my scrapbook paper. and it fits perfectly. So now I'm just gonna use the Mod Podge and Mod Podge that into the center. And look at those two colors together. They look so pretty. I love it. Next, I took the brown wax and I just dry brushed around the whole edge of the tray. Just using like a chip brush. Then I was, I was going along, I just kind of rubbed it with my fingers. And you can use as much of the brown wax as you want to as little as you want. It depends on how dark you want it and how vintage you want it to look. And it really makes those raised edges prominent. And then I did a little on the inside of the tray, allowed it to hit the edges of the scrap pa book paper. And I just kind of went over the scrapbook paper I didn't load my brush again. I'm just using what was on there. And then when I did need more, I just used it from the spot on the paper towel that I had already blotted off most of the paint. I'm gonna do the same thing to these, just kind of give them a little bit of a distressed look because they were pretty bright white. Again, like I said, this part is totally optional, but I just didn't want them to be so stark against all of the vintage look that we just put on there. Then I just hot glued them, one on top of each other. That's gonna be your bunny body, and this is gonna be your bunny's head. And you don't wanna go all the way to the bottom of the tray, you wanna leave about an inch. Then next I glued on the ears, and I kinda of slid them behind the grapevine wreath. He's super cute. Next, I used that little burlap rosette and I put that for his tail. 
and then I made a little bow out of the ribbon and I put that in between the two wreaths. And now we have a cute little bunny. Next, I took some Spanish moss and just tucked it underneath the bottom wreath, right to the bottom of the tray. And I just hot glued that into place. And that's it, he's all done. Now, I liked it just the way it looked. I thought he was super cute, but I thought he needed something else. So I found a bead of pearls that I had that are just crafting ones, and I decided to paint them white and distress them and wrap them around the whole inside of the tray, and I really think that that just finished off the whole project. I absolutely love the way this turned out. It's so vintage and so cute and so shabby chic. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to spread the chaos.